Have you ever tried to send a longer video or a file of some sort and been faced with an alert that the file's too large to send? Of course you have. Well, outsmart your phone and computer settings today and get around the size limits with these tips. I'm Kurt the Cyber Guy with all the quick tips and tricks you need over at cyberguy.com. Plus, you can get them straight to your inbox by signing up for my free newsletter. Now, regardless of your device, most text and email apps will usually have a size limit that stops you from sending files of a larger nature. That doesn't mean it's not possible, though. First, here's how to send larger files on iPhone. Choosing which way to send a file on iPhone will depend on if the person on the receiving end has also got an iPhone or not. If both parties have an iPhone and you're in close vicinity to each other, send large files, videos, and more via AirDrop. Make sure both of you are close by and have Bluetooth turned on. Open the files you're sending to the other person on your iPhone and tap the share icon. Tap the AirDrop icon that looks like that. Select the person you want to AirDrop the file to. If you don't see them, make sure that both of you have your AirDrop set to allow everyone to send to you. Once you tap the other person's name or iPhone, they will receive a pop-up notification asking if they'd like to accept or decline the file you're trying to share. When they accept it, the file, boom, goes right over there. The location it's saved to will depend on the file. If it's a photo or video, it's typically going to go to the Photos app. If it's a different type of file, the person receiving the file will choose where to save the file on their iPhone. Now, if only one of you have an iPhone and you're not nearby, you can set a larger file using MailDrop. MailDrop's a feature included with every Apple iCloud account that uploads larger files to your iCloud when they're too big for an email attachment. The file is sent through an encrypted iCloud link the recipient can click to access. To text files or send through any app, use a Files app that comes on your iPhone. Open your Files app and select the one you want to send. Tap the Share icon. You can then tap Message, Mail, or another app. Send as normal and your file will now be shared through your Files app to the recipient to view. Mac computers also have AirDrop, and it works with nearby Macs, iPad, or an iPhone. If the receiving party has an Apple device and is nearby, same thing, locate the file you're sending to the other person on your computer, and right-click or control-click the file, hover over Share, and tap AirDrop. Select the person you want to AirDrop the file to. If you don't see them, make sure both of you have AirDrop set to allow everyone to send to you. Once you tap the other person's name or the device's name, they'll receive a pop-up notification asking if they'd like to accept or decline the file you shared. When they tap accept, the file will be saved. If the receiving party does not have an Apple device and or isn't nearby, locate the file you're sending to the other person on your computer and right-click or control-click the file. Hover over Share and tap either Mail or Message. For more on how to send larger files, head to my site, cyberguy.com slash send large files. And for more tech how-tos, tips, and tricks, why don't you sign up for my free newsletter?